there's still a huge love affair with the car. It's not just transportation, it's a gem. And some people, they only take it out on a Sunday morning because it's special. They collect cars of every vintage and of every price and affordability. You know, whether they've got a nice little Ford from years back or even a modern one, or they've got a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or a Jaguar or a Range Rover, they're all here. Pebble Beach has now become the sort of capital for the deluxe motor vehicle of whatever vintage it may be. I think every young man who's having a look at the world and getting around would always want to have a Rolex. And I was one of those young men who would have almost given the right arm for a Rolex. It wasn't until I went to drive at Indianapolis for an American team entry called John Meekham, who lived in Houston, Texas. And I went down there and he put me on a contract to drive the Indy 500. It was a good deal financially for me. So in Houston, Texas, I bought a Rolex, a day date, president bracelet, and it was fantastic. And it, it was too big for me, the one of the shop, because I've got relatively small wrists. And he said, look, I'll take some links out, come back. When I came back in two days with the new links, my team owner had also given me a dial with diamonds on it. So I was really over the top. I lost the watch. Ironically, on a flight from Paris to Geneva, they gave me a hot towel. I was traveling up front in first class, took my watch off, put it down, looked round, and I forgot about the watch. But when I went to pick it up, it wasn't there. And I thought it had dropped. I went all over the plane looking for my watch. By this time, everybody had left the aircraft and gone through customs and immigration, so it was never found. And I'm wearing a, a GMT Master at the moment, the new one with the ceramic bezel. It's my favorite watch. I use that more than anything else, but I have a lovely rose gold Daytona. I've got a platinum Day 8. I've got a few watches, but I think Rolex just stands out in the world. And it's an ambition for most people to be able to have and to buy a Rolex.